what's up it's Eric here and this video this drill is gonna help you to get down into this position I'm here in the Boston Public Garden I'm actually on vacation shouldn't be working right now but feeling good so I had to shoot this video for you today okay don't hate now one of the big problems with training this deep squat mobility or not problem but one of the things that people miss out on is building strength and all the muscles in this range of motion okay so we're thinking all the time stretch 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 it's all about stretching to gain your flexibility mobility but that's incomplete at best okay so what you want to do is you want to build strength in all the muscles that both get you into this position and will help you get out of this position and this little drill is going to help you do that and it's going to target muscles that we don't often target Number one, the hip flexors. Number two, the ankle dorsiflexors, okay? So hip flexion creates this. Ankle dorsiflexion creates that, pulling the toe to the knee, okay? So I call this the deep squat pivot. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna get, even if you can't get into the deep squat position regularly, this drill allows you to get down here because we're going up on the, he on the ball of the foot here. We're lifting the heel on one foot, so we're pivoting to one side. So on this side, what we're gonna do is pivoting, lifting this heel, or pivoting over to this side. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna dorsiflex and you wanna pull the knee up. So you create the hip flexion on this side, hip flexion, dorsiflexion. So pulling up and holding there. Just feel what it feels like to activate those muscles, okay? And holding that position, holding that contraction, that activation, you're gonna hold it and then you're gonna lower yourself down, holding it, holding it, holding it lower yourself down all the way until the foot is flat and you can feel a little bit more driving into that dorsiflexion passively okay so what we're doing is we're starting creating that active hip flexion active dorsiflexion and keep that on the whole time keep it on the whole time and then we're lowering down keep it on the whole time until the foot is flat on the ground okay and then you come back up and keep holding that dorsiflexion and the hip flexion so you do let's say three reps on this side, and then we pivot over to the other side, hence the name deep squat pivot, and then we same thing. Hip flexion, so I'm pulling the knee up, trying to pull the knee up to the sky, if you can think about it that way, and pulling the toe up to the knee. So dorsiflexion, and then hold that, good strong contraction there, and then lower down until my foot is flat, okay? And this is actually gonna really help with this ankle dorsiflexion. This is something that we don't train often. If we run, we jump, we do Olympic weightlifting, CrossFit, kicking people, anything that's gonna put a lot of impact on the ankle joint here is gonna over time deteriorate that dorsiflexion. So we need to something to train it. And this exercise, this drill does just that. Okay, I'm just looking for people who are gonna walk in front of the video here. It's rush hour, I'm here doing a video and there's people trying to commute to work. Okay, here's one. So. Again, you want to get down, you want to lift, create the dorsiflexion, okay? I'll show you over here. Lift, 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 and then lower down. Get my hand out of the way. Lower down, lower down, lower down. There. And then we pivot. So you can go side to side. So here, hip flexion, dorsiflexion, keeping it, and then going into it, okay? And this way you can see that I'm creating this full range of mo strength and activation through this full range of motion. So this end range of motion and then the passive, when I lean into it, I'm still trying to create that. That's gonna maintain that full ankle dorsiflexion that I'm talking about, okay? So there's the deep squat pivot. You can do three to eight reps per side. You can go side to side or you know, go a few on one side, a few on the other. Just play around in this position. Obviously, the other benefit is you're gonna be hanging out in this deep squat position, and that's always a good thing. Okay, so I hope you like this video. It's gonna help you out. Do it up, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.